Hi, I'm Dan Rayner from Instron Applications Lab. Today we're going to be talking about preloading your load strip. A lot of our grip connections use a clevis connection, which puts pins in double shear. However, when you first insert the pin, there's still some slack, some compliance. So what we're going to do is tighten our check nut to get rid of that compliance. Even more importantly, when you're testing at very high loads, everything stretches so the compliance can come back. So what we want to do is get rid of that compliance entirely before our test. In this case, we have a set of mechanical wedge grips. The faces actually move during testing. So we want to make sure that the compliance is completely taken up. What we're going to do here is use a, a rigid material, in this case, just a piece of steel. So we know it's straight and flat. We load it into our grips. And I've got a test set up to run it up to 500 pounds. So you can see there's a flat spot on the curve during the, the, the extension. That's actually uh, just under 20 pounds, which is the weight of this grip. So it's actually lifting the lower grip through that compliance area. When we get to 500 pounds, you're going to see that it's gone about 33 thousandths of an inch just to get there. And a large portion of that was this compliance. So now that we're up at 500 pounds, I can tighten the check nuts by hand. And now I'm going to enable Specimen Protect. Uh, this feature allows it to allows the crosshead to reduce the stress on the specimen automatically. Uh, in this case, I've told it to stay within plus or minus 10 pounds. So it'll go from 500 down to, in this case, 7 or 8. Uh, it's still active. Now with the, the check nuts tightened, run the test up to 500 pounds again. And instead of 31 thousandths of an inch, we're at 4.7 thousandths of an inch. So that was 27 thousandths of compliance that we just removed from the system. 